Hey everybody! So today's lecture, we're going to be talking about viruses and biotechnology. It's a good um, ending of our unit on energy and genetic materials and how genetic material functions. It's a good ending because it's really interesting talking about how the processes that we've been looking at, DNA, how it works, how it's replicated, what it actually does in your cells, how what we've learned about the genetic material actually informs our everyday lives now. You probably are not tracking. I am tracking on the fact that it's been over two months since the last time I recorded a lecture. And there are millions and millions of reasons why I um, took a little break. But one of the biggest ones is because this is the next lecture. And <laughs> You know me, by now y'all know me, and I get really excited about the topics that we're gonna talk about, and there's something about today's topic that has left me reluctant. And I just, I feel like I need to say it out loud because um, we're gonna be talking about COVID. And to me, the application of the content, all the stuff that you've learned, being able to apply what we've learned to something that has impacted us profoundly over the last three, four years at the time of the recording of this um, lecture. But it's been hard. So I'm excited. <laughs> Like I am, I promise. I, I am excited to um, keep going and, and continue our learning and to look at all these cool applications. But there's also a part of me that feels um, like it's hard to talk about COVID. And it's hard to talk about it because I think we, we don't have many options. We just are kind of like grinding back as if, um, it's done and I don't know about y'all, but I definitely have um, permanent impact because of experiencing this pandemic. So I'm only saying it out loud because I want to acknowledge my own, um, my own stuff that comes up when I talk about this. And to sort of name or call out the fact that I feel a little less um, excited and enthusiastic about this lecture, and I'm sure that you probably will pick up on that. Don't go away. Don't let my, my own stuff um, discourage you from tackling this cool content. And don't let your own stuff prevent you from tackling this content, but know that I am, it's a weird time and this is a weird thing to talk about and reflect on. And I think um, maybe we haven't done enough reflecting on it. Maybe we're not far enough away from it yet to really understand what we sort of went through and to have um, good perspective. But the cool thing is today we're going to talk about viruses and we're going to use the SARS-CoV-2 um, virus as an example. So lots of viruses function very similarly and have similar structures to the virus that causes COVID-19. And we're um, but, you know, it's relevant. It's happening in our world. So we're going to use that as our example. Okay, viruses are cool. They are super interesting. And the combination of viral function structure with 
biotechnology that has helped us deal with viruses um, is it should be an interesting lecture. Okay, thank you for listening to me. And now we're going to talk about what is a virus.